Tavis Maximus here. Just going to do a quick look inside the Harbor Freight Zurich ZR13 uh, premium scan tool. Pretty easy to get inside one of these. You just got to pull off the data cable. Get the batteries out using a number two, or excuse me, a number one Phillips. Three double A's in this case. Screw is captured to the battery cover so you don't have to worry about losing it. Boom, boom, boom. There is a brass insert for the battery cover so it doesn't strip out as easily. This is what I was talking about earlier. There's only four screws holding together the case. Although, like with the inspection camera or the um, digital battery tester, uh, those surprisingly had uh, a lot more screws. The battery tester had seven, the inspection camera had eight screws. Uh, so, and they're all, both were quite a bit cheaper than this item. Um, but this you're paying for software. It's basically what you're paying for. There's the four little screws. It actually comes off on the top side. These battery terminals inside here, we'll zoom in a little bit just so you know. These have like a little post sticking off the bottom. You can't really see, but they go through a hole. And so when you pull it apart, you actually pull off the top. There's the screen, there's the buttons. And they're soldered. So you have to desolder the battery terminals to actually lift the board out of this unit, which is a little annoying. The one thing I really wanted to open up this open this up for is it's just going to be a chip um, and some supporting components is one you know so you can have a look at the actual part number inside the board and then you can see that even though it only has nine buttons that you know there's a variety of tools this board's inside because there's a huge number of possible buttons that could be used depending on its uh, situation and if we can get a decent zoom on this yes so that little chip there I believe is a Bluetooth controller because it's, Bluetooth controllers tend to be on their own little boards uh, and it has an FCC ID on it. So this tool may physically be capable of Bluetooth but of course Harbor Freight has, you know, it doesn't have that ability built in. So I don't know if the Innova software can be put on this or if Harbor Freight at some point is going to update it so you can use the Bluetooth. Or maybe I'm incorrect and this is something with the battery reset capabilities of the tool. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe. Cas Maximus out.